What's up guys, Rob from QuickSkeek. Today's video, I wanna walk you through our Google Ads course. It's called Google Ads Training Academy, and we basically teach you everything you need to know to run successful lead generation Google Ads campaigns. Really important, guys. This course, this Google Ads course, is about lead generation campaigns, which is service-based industry, stuff like that. Anything where you're generating a lead, not e-commerce, okay? So keep that in mind when you're when you're looking at this. So if you're what you're looking at here is just the course curriculum. So I'm going to walk you through it. Now the first uh, the first module we want everyone to watch first is it's how we it's called Quick Start Campaign Setup, and we build a campaign in steps, step by step, from scratch. Okay, and it's important to watch this first just so you can kind of get a general understanding. Because as I go through each step with you, you can see the video times here like they're they're pretty long videos. And I build a campaign and I show you all the steps and it's important that to watch this first because just to get an idea how Google works, how the platform works, so you'll understand when we get into the introduction stuff and I break everything else down. But I kind of just narrate, I narrate obviously while I'm going through each step, so it's, uh, it's easier for you to follow and understand. If you're a complete newbie, this is, what, this is, why, this is why this section is set up. This is for someone who doesn't know what AdWords platform is or how to use it anything like that so that's why we kind of put this one first kind of breaks the ice for the rest of the course next we go into module one here you can see creating a new Google Ads account how to create a new account setting up your Google Ads billing how to get your billing all set up correctly it's pretty self-explanatory guys a uh, quick tour of the new Google Ads platform interface so this is back in uh, when I made this course I've obviously been updating it but when I first made it, it was when Google just rolled out their new interface it used to look much different so I kind of tour the interface and all the features and how it works and what you need to know. Understanding the different campaign types, whether that's display, search, e-commerce, whatever. I go through that. Uh, overview of daily budgets and how they work. So we're going to learn about budgeting, understanding location targeting and the correct settings to have set up for your campaigns. Introduction to available bidding strategies. Here's where I walk you through each one and how to use them and my experience with each one using them. Understanding the different device bids, that's really important. It's about all the different devices you can run your campaigns on. Uh, that could be cell phones, desktop computers, uh, tablets. So it's it's important to understand because you can tweak the bids on those to adjust traffic that converts higher to whatever devices that are sending that traffic. All right, add delivery method, standard versus accelerated. I believe that's not even a feature anymore, actually. I should probably remove that video. Understanding ad extensions and how to use them, that's really important. Everyone should be using ad extensions for everything. Ad schedules, how they work and why you need them. Understanding ad rotation settings. At this point, this video too, I would probably say wouldn't really have to be in here, but because Google lets you, you can have choose to have Google optimize your, uh, your, your ads to only show the best, most highest converting ones. But people still do choose to run the ad rotations themselves, so I guess we should probably keep that. Dynamic search ads and ad tracking templates, IP exclusions and how they work, using the new keyword tool in Google Ads. Again, this is also when they just rolled out the new keyword planner. So I'm going to show you how to use that and how to find your keywords and all that. So module two, we'll go into understanding the Google Ads auction and bidding. So how the Google Ads auction platform works, how to set up your initial ad group slash keyword bids. Really important stuff, guys. Module three, understanding Google Ads quality score metric, how quality score works, how to improve your low quality scores. That's really important because quality scores are going to determine whether you're, now, I wouldn't say determine whether you're successful or not because I have plenty of campaigns that are just a five or six quality score, but they pull a ton of leads. But obviously the higher the quality score, the lower cost per click you pay, which in turn means the lower cost per lead you're going to have. So it is important, but I kind of break it down how it all works. Improving quality score by tweaking landing page experience. Got some off-page um, stuff that's really cool. Module four, correct campaign slash ad group structure. How to create a new ad group and how they are supposed to work. How to build out ad groups. This is really important. How to find and build out new ad groups. The power of geo ad groups, which are geolocation ad groups. So if you're a plumber in Philly, how to break down all the different neighborhoods you, you can go by neighborhoods you can go by little surrounding cities or towns around philly all kinds of stuff you can do to drag in more traffic then we got skag single keyword ad groups 
It's pretty important. Pretty cool, actually. All right, sorry guys, one sec. All right, module five, write ad copy that converts. Understanding the basics of writing effective ad copy. Crafting your ad copy hook, that's really, really important. You have to have a hook or else your campaigns are uh, gonna struggle. Talking about the location the location you are targeting in the actual ad copy. All right, so that's calling out locations. So if you're, if you're like, I th like I said, if you're, uh, let's go back to Philadelphia Plumber, you want to be calling out in that ad group for Philadelphia Plumbing keywords, calling out that you're a Philadelphia plumber, or if you're a surrounding town around Philadelphia, calling that town out in that town ad group, really, really important. Most people just have generic ads for the entire account or the entire campaign, and just, you can't do it that way. You're going to get poor results. <clears throat> this is our updated one here. It's Google Ads can show three headlines in a second description. So that's actually responsive search ads. I should probably change the name of that. Next up, module six, understanding keywords, keyword match types, and more. So understanding keyword basics and how they work, keyword match types and how to use them, keyword match types, free tools that you can use to find and uh, change up your match types on a mass scale if you have you know, 150 keywords, how you can make them all, all the different kinds of uh, match types all at once. How to find slash choose high intent keywords, plus using AdWords Keyword Planner, right? This is probably one of the most important videos in this entire course, because it's going to show you the difference between what a high intent keyword is and what a low intent keyword is. And the difference between that is the difference between a campaign that gets 150 leads a month or one that gets four. It really is that simple. I'll show you how to weed out the low the low intent keywords. Understanding keyword slash ad group themes, that's really important, all about relevancy of your keywords and your ads and your ad groups. Module seven, negative keywords. Understanding how slash why negative keywords work, how to use negative keyword match types, why you need negative keywords. And I'll give, go into a live campaign and show you an example. How to find negative keywords, probably another really important video in this course. If I had to go number two, it would probably be this one, how to find negative keywords using the Keyword Planner. Module eight is simple landing pages and why you need to use them. How to design slash structure your landing page to convert at 20% plus. And I actually have another course too. We have one called Landing Page Academy where I go through and give you a bunch of landing pages that convert over 20%. And I show you the psychology behind how to build these pages and why they convert so well. So that's something you guys can check out as well. I think you can find those, um, just go to clicksteek.com and you should be able to find the landing page course on there if you want to check that out. Using Instapage software to build our landing pages. We use Instapage to build all of our landing pages for our old, all of our internal stuff and our client stuff. Uh, you can use lead pages, you can use Unbalanced, there's a bunch of other ones, it doesn't really matter. The things that are taught in the Landing Page Academy course and also in this video here about conversion and how to get your pages to convert is universal. It doesn't really matter what platform you build the pages on. Module 9, setting up conversion tracking correctly. This is really important, guys. Without proper conversion track, conversion tracking, you're not going to be able to run a successful AdWords campaign. And then we got all the different ones here. Form tracking, call extensions, phone calls, all that. Module 10, how to optimize and manage your AdWords campaign. So this is another really important module because it's going to show you after you initially build your campaign, how to keep it running smooth. So we start up here, understanding how campaign optimization works, optimizing device bids, optimizing ad copy for higher click-through rates and conversions, optimizing campaign keywords, adding converting keywords, adding negative keywords from search term reporting, really important. Optimizing your ad schedule, optimizing your locations, in-market audience targeting, optimizing your landing pages for higher conversions. This is probably another, if I had to go number three, probably number three most important video in this course because this is off-page optimization. It's stuff that a lot of people don't even bother to do, and it's so important. Conversion optimization using heat maps, uh, screen recordings, that's another really cool one. Demographic data optimization tactics, Google search partner optimization, ad extension optimization. There's a lot of stuff here, guys. AdWords Change History Tutorial, Troubleshoot Poor Campaign Performance. Module 11 is Setting Up Location Extensions and Google My Business page. Really easy. It's a really cool video too, though. You should be using location extensions. 
Module 12, how to set up remarketing campaigns, how to understand understanding how basic remarketing works, how to create your remarketing audience and install your remarketing tag. That's really important because if you don't install, install your tag correctly, you're not going to be able to build your audience. That's going to be a huge problem down the line. And then we have more advanced stuff here, AdWords scripts and how they work. I don't really go too in depth into AdWords scripts because I don't really use them. Um, I never really have. I just kind of show you how to use them if you want to use them and show you where to find them if you want to use them. But I don't go too crazy into that. Module 14, um, AdWords Editor Basics and Functions. This is really important. This is AdWords Editor is how we can take a campaign in one niche and move it to another and clone it and, and swap out all the important information and all that stuff. So that's really important to understand how you can make campaign edits in AdWords Editor. So that's an important video. Module 15 is call only ads. And this one, 32 minute video, I just build a call only campaign straight from scratch all the way through and show you guys how to do that. 16, creating an MCC account for easier client management. This is also really important because you don't want to have, you don't want to get a client and then just have them try and email you their login because you're going to get hit with Google trying to send you code, verification codes and stuff. And it's a huge pain in the ass. So it's easier just to create an MCC and have the client drop their account inside your MCC. Then we have resources, links to our favorite tools, stuff like that. Bonus, we have an instant page of a roofing landing page that converted 25%. We give that to you guys for free. So for those people who use instant page, you'll be able to upload that immediately and make your edits. And that's it, guys. That's it for the uh, Google Ads Training Academy course. You can tell it's pretty in depth. There's a lot in here. It's a lot to go through. I actually have to update a few things out, which I'm going to do that right now. But, um, it's, it's pretty intense, but the most important module I would say is if you're new, if you're brand new to AdWords, would be this one, which is watching me build a campaign in a, four, in a it's actually five step. I don't know why it's like that, but I have to fix that. <clears throat> so it's a, it's a five step module where I build a campaign. That's probably the most important because you're going to see how the platform really works. All right, so hopefully this uh, video was helpful if you're looking for an average course. Uh, besides that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.